Start your week smiling with your friends, Kathy Zant and Michelle Frechette. It's time to get ready for some weekly motivation with WP Motivate. I don't think I've ever started a show with happy Monday, Kathy. <laughs> Is that a thing? I don't know. It must Monday be now. Be happy. I, well, I hope. And they're always well, happy when of- I get to see you. Yeah, I missed you. We've been Likewise. pretty busy past couple of weeks, so we have. I know, and yeah. I finally got our episode out that we recorded two weeks ago, <laughs> like last Friday. I think life has been busy. It's been insanely busy. So we'll get this one out in the next couple of days. People are going to be like, "Wow, didn't I just listen to them?" I'm like, yes, yeah. we're catching up now. <laughs> we are catching up, back in the swing of things. No, like <laughs> trips and crazy stuff going on. No. Yeah, That's just, exactly. I'm looking for October has been just like this is like a, with activity. I'm looking forward, please November, just like yes. smooth. Can we just you could be, be as like... long as you want, just smooth, easy, no oh, yeah, but, disruption. But Black Friday, Cyber Monday's coming, so there's no such thing as smooth in our industry. <laughs> oh, forget yeah, I said that. No. Shh, forget I said that. <laughs> yeah. Forget that um okay maybe i'll just hold on to october (laughs) we'll just we'll just keep it we'll just keep it it's all good (laughs) well i revealed my halloween costume this morning for yeah i saw the picture on wp builds this week in wordpress this morning and if you've all missed it i'll put a link in the show notes but i was dressed up as the this is fine dog (laughs) complete with fake flames behind me made out of construction paper the bowler hat the the dog mask I had to wear my glasses over it so it was a little inauthentic but I also am not a dog so that part's all already inauthentic but so I turned my camera on and Nathan's laughing and everybody's laughing and people are putting in the in the comments how perfect it is and Nathan's like uh what so what are you like I'm the meme he's like what meme like oh Nathan you got to stop living under a rock, dude. But um, yeah, we showed him the meme and then he was like, oh, that's funny. And he thanked me again afterwards for like making it fun and humorous and everything. So I thought it was pretty good. I did tweet it out. So and I know you've seen it, but um, yeah, it was a lot of fun to put together. So <laughs> this that is, is so cool. Yeah. My well, new you me this a, is fine. <laughs> I think you showed me a preview a couple months ago. So I, I did. Knew, yeah, I knew it was coming, but it's so cool. I'm so glad that uh, it went over. And Nathan, yeah, we're going to have to start sending him like all of the memes, keep him up with I all guess of what so. the we're talking about. I know. I'm already like, what am I going to be next year? It's going to be the Drake meme. Like, <laughs> <laughs> like yeah. <no. laughs> I don't think I could pass as Drake. And I'm not going to do blackface. That is not a thing. But <laughs> yeah. But even so, I could put on the puffy jacket. I could do Drake, but I don't think so. So we'll have to yeah. figure it out. It'll be something different for next year. If anybody has ideas that they think I can pull off next year, I got a whole year to plan it now. So let me yeah. know. But yeah, but that was fun. That was funny. And uh, yeah, it was it was cool. I ordered the mask and the hat like a million years ago. I swear it was like August or something. Um, and then the hardest part was getting the this is fine thought bubble which is a speech, <laughs> speech bubble attached to attach to the hat. But you, if you're Whoa. watching, you can see this. Yeah. But I got it to attach to the hat so that when I was wearing nice. it, you know, it just looked like I was saying this is fine, like the dog in the, in the Perfect. Meme, so. And this morning I laminated it so it would have a little more starch in it, so to speak, you know, a little more stiffness to it. So. Yeah. But yeah, maybe that's the title of this, this episode is this is fine. <laughs> Everything's fine. Because the day to day sometimes sucks, Kathy. We we don't always talk about the negative stuff on here, but I have parents who are in and out of the hospital constantly. My mother falls at least once or twice a week where she lives. And if she can't get herself up off the floor, that's an ambulance call because where she lives, they're not allowed to lift her. So then the ambulance has to come out. Ugh. And they have to get her up off the ground and then they have to evaluate whether she should be taken to the hospital or not. And uh, 90, 80, 90% of the time, it's an ambulance ride to make sure she hasn't broken anything. And a week and a half ago, my stepfather went into the hospital again. He's 
he's he's at the towards the end of his life he's got congestive heart failure copd emphysema mm-hmm. lung cancer like just it's all stacked against him you know and um he comes he came home from the hospital i want to say i don't remember exactly what day it was sunday maybe and monday my mother falls and the ambulance comes out to pick her up and they take one look at him and think he's going to his oxygen yeah. is like in the 80s his oxygen percentage so so they took them both to the hospital she came home that day he's still there it's been over a week so mm-hmm. yeah so life is life is not always easy to move through there are days when I just don't want to get out of bed and I think that's normal but I also know that that's part of my mental health is a proclivity towards anxiety and depression and so i think about those things and work on those things a lot and motivate myself to work through some of those things as I can um, and see a doctor when I need to about those kinds of things. But, but yeah, like, thank God for weekends, except that, you know, family doesn't stop on weekends and they don't stop during the week when you're working either, do they? (laughs) They do not. They do not. It is nonstop. Yeah. Yeah. So this time of year, the heat just kicked on. It was mm-hmm. like 100 degrees, like a couple days ago. I swear we had like two <laughs> days of fall and the heat kicked on. And this is the time of year. My husband's stroke was mid-November. So mm-hmm. there's something about like the heat kicking on that like I just have this like maybe it's the Bigger. smell, you know, or something mm-hmm. where I am just like, PTSD to two years ago and it's just like I I don't know if I can fully like live in this house long term because I just have so many like yeah it's just so clouded with yeah it's so clouded Mm -hmm. with with those memories so yeah like yesterday I never sleep in I never sleep in I got Mm -hmm. dogs that want walks um the dachshund especially he's just like oh I'm up it's time to go and if you're not everybody should be outside (laughs) yeah I threw a blanket over him though. And I slept until eight o'clock in the morning. That never happened. So Good for sometimes you. you have to. Sometimes yeah, absolutely. To. For me, sleeping in is 11, but if I'm happy for your 8 a.m. <laughs> yeah. No, I know what you mean. I know what you mean. I don't have the same responsibilities you do. My cats just feed at the dish and go in the litter box. So I don't have to let anybody out. And I'm the only one that lives there. So I only have to be responsible for my own getting to the bathroom in the morning, which is usually what does wake (laughs) me up. So (laughs) like, damn, that extra glass of water before, you know, after 8 p.m. Oh, Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. (laughs) (laughs) But, but, you know, and I know we've talked a lot about in the past about our favorite things and the little things that really get us through. But I have to say that there's things that have been getting me through lately that I just have stopped to actually reflect on. Um, Five years ago, when I had left a bad marriage and I was in my first apartment and not knowing how anything was going to be accomplished and not, you know, we hadn't been um, acquired yet. And so we, I was still, you know, working for give and I didn't have health insurance. I didn't have all these things and I could not afford to do some of the things that I can do now. Like every other week, somebody comes and cleans my house Yeah, and I live alone. So I keep it fairly neat and tidy, but they pick up that spot on the corner where I can't reach that they can't puke or you know they they vacuum they change my sheets they clean my shower the things that are more difficult for me to do and being able to afford for somebody who's good at doing that to come in and kind of save my butt from living in in either a squalor or or a hoarder situation or whatever the case may be because it also keeps me on my toes to try to keep my place as neat and tidy as possible so that when they come in to clean they get to clean right instead of having to deal with um, clutter so yeah it's just one of those little things and then I had a friend come in this weekend and did all my laundry just did my laundry folded it put it away hung things up and that is something that shouldn't be difficult to do and yet it is if you're not somebody who can walk and carry things at the same time so just having somebody you know process through laundry and take me to um take me to walmart because i can't get in and out of walmart without a riding cart by myself um you know is is just it's just the little things like that that 
I never realized would become part of my life um, and the way that I live. But uh, I, I definitely don't want to take uh, for granted because it has been something that really on a day-to-day -day basis makes it easier for me to manage. Yeah. Little things like having a, a mini fridge in my home office, even though my refrigerator is just around the corner, because walking during the middle of the day is not easy for me. So I have my Keurig and I have my mini fridge all in that room so that I can continue to work and not be in pain doing things I need to do. And I have a mini fridge next to my bed. So if I wake up in the middle of the night and I'm parched, I have cold water right there. So yeah, it's, it's. I, I know I sound really privileged and I am really privileged when I would get the, to be able to say these things that I didn't have the ability to do five or 10 years ago. So yeah, I, I do feel blessed and I do feel grateful for the things that I am able to do for myself, but also the things that I'm able to pay for and for the people who fill in the gaps between what I need and what I can afford and all those things too. So eh, yeah. this is good. Yeah. Sometimes all those little things I've noticed it's all of the little things that like add up, like, you know, I've started a new role. So it's like drinking from the fire hose. Right. And there's lots to learn. There's lots going on in, in a leader leadership position. I've got a lot of information that I'm taking in end of the day. I'm tired. I'm tired. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, okay, I'm done. And yet there's all these other things. So it's like the little things then just start adding up and, and it, then you get a big thing and then it's like, I can't, I can't deal. I cannot right. deal. I am not going to Walmart this weekend. Walmart is coming to me. <laughs> like Walmart <laughs> plus is like my exactly. favorite thing in the whole world. I don't have to go into a Walmart. Oh my gosh. I will pay extra for that. Yes. Bring me all of those, those staples that I just, I just do not want to have to go deal with. So yeah. that's like my little thing. Walmart plus has been like, I used to go to Target all the time. Mm -hmm. And I guess I could have done Target like pickup or Target delivery or whatever, but for some reason just like Walmart on the phone just send it to me. Yeah. I, because I'll, I I'm paying less, right? Well, I have to pay yeah. the tip, but I'm happy to pay the tip. So the pricing is a little bit less and they bring it to me in bags and that all just like shows up at my garage door. <laughs> it's like I that's know. where half the fridge stuff goes like right mm -hmm. there, so yeah. Make such Instacart, a big difference. Same idea. I do. I use Instacart yeah. for my grocery delivery. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. it's just, what is, what is, that saves time, saves physical so energy much. and pain and everything else, you know? So traffic, traffic, time, just everything. Yeah. 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 yeah so it's sometimes it's like, I, I recognize the privilege and I'm grateful for it. You know, it's, it's it's okay that I've moved my way through life to a place where I can afford to do those things and make my life a little yeah. bit easier. And I don't yeah. have to feel guilty about that, even though right. a lot of society tries to make you feel guilty about that kind of thing. But I think I also use my they privilege shouldn't. for good things. So There's people who take private jets places and there's people who like do yeah. bougie stuff all the time, like just yeah. small conveniences to make life easier so that you can have a... Life needs to be more... Here's the thing. It's like, we work hard. I know you work hard because I seen you yes. work. You've seen Likewise. me work. Yeah. We, we're we both very hardworking people. So like we're productive members of society. We're not like right. sitting around eating bonbons, watching, I don't yeah. know, whatever people watch now. Uh, <laughs> binging. Back, in, back in the day, it was General Hospital. <laughs> back in the day, it was. <laughs> but like, we're not... <sighs> Yeah, we need we need support because we're supporting yep. a lot, you know, like you're yeah, doing no, a lot. True. You've got your your mom and stepdad and everything that you're doing in the WordPress community, all of the stuff that you're like uplifting and supporting. You need some support, too. So I don't think you yeah. should feel privileged like you're being privileged at all about it. I feel like it's like, no, when you're doing more, you need more support. That's true. I like it. I'll think about it that way from now on. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, for sure. Well, I think there's a lot of people who just like, especially I've noticed a lot in WordPress. There's a lot of people who, who are, who give more than they receive, mm -hmm. and it's an open source community. It has to be like there. 
anybody who's doing stuff, you're giving a lot more. Nobody's paying a lot of these contributors, right. whether you're showing up to speak at a word camp or you're donating cord, uh, core code, um, mm -hmm. whatever you're doing, you're giving, right? So I think that everybody who is in WordPress should open themselves up to receive more, whether it's just, you know, door dashing a meal, something yeah. where you're supporting yourself, you're allowing sort of like all of these modern conveniences that we have in order to support us so that we can give more. Because when you are less stressed and you don't have all those like little things piling up on you, you can give more, you can be more present, you can yeah. make the world a better place. And so people like WordPress people deserve to be taken care of, I think. I, I, I like that. I think that's very true. I think that's awesome. At, um, at WordCamp US this year, uh, it was a simple thing. And it was just one of the most amazing things is like um, David uh, Wolfpaw mm -hmm. brought me Starbucks every morning, found out what my favorite order was and brought me Starbucks every morning. Nice. And, you know, and I made him take some money halfway through because like, come on, four days of Starbucks, five days of Starbucks, whatever it was, that adds up, right? Um, but the fact that he wanted to and he would go stand in line and bring it back was just like amazing. And it got me through the day because it's like somebody cared to help you start your day right, you know, kind of thing. So, yeah, it's, it's it is. It's the little things. So and it's also having somebody like you that I can call up and like vent to when I have everything like falling apart. <laughs> like my mother and my stepfather went to, in an emergency <laughs> the ambulance this morning kind of situation and be able to just like put on that hat that says this is fine <laughs> that's gonna yes. be my hat <laughs> this is fine this is fine oh, where, wait, yeah it flipped yeah my, my this is fine hat so like it doesn't go on my headphones very well so <laughs> hopefully that will not be a you know permanent fixture in your life that you won't need that <laughs> just for now Maybe I'll just maybe I'll now. attach it to a tiara. <laughs> yeah, I got to wear my tiara on on Friday because there was a uh, a Halloween party type of thing, like Halloween yeah. costume contest, and I'm like, I have nothing, but I have a tiara, so that was my contribution. I love it. I I have tiaras at. <laughs> I have tiaras at home and I have tiaras here in the office. So I'm, I am never tiara less. It's like if nobody, if anybody never knows what to get me as a gift, it's like a tiara always fits. <laughs> I don't know why I love them fit. so much, but I do. Yeah. The, when I realized you could just buy them yourself and you don't have to win a beauty pageant. I was like, <laughs> thank God, because I want a freaking tiara and I don't look good in a bikini. So there you go. <laughs> Oh, it's funny cool. there you go we should start miss plus size america <laughs> like wait miss over yeah. 50 plus size america then i would stand a chance <laughs> <laughs> there you go <laughs> oh okay there you go we should we should do something like that i don't know why it would just be funny <laughs> yeah just for the kicks just for the yeah. lulls yeah for the lulls so funny anyway well I got nothing else. I don't know if you get anything else. I'm good. This is good. It's just, even if it didn't, even if, if you're still listening and you're like, they didn't really say anything. Exactly. We're like Seinfeld today. It's the show about nothing. And we're okay with that because I don't know about you, Kathy, but I am happier than when we started talking because you always raise my spirits. Go. So awesome the show Hopefully, about nothing the show about nothing so if we raise your spirits a little bit too let us know we would love to hear it we don't ask for sponsorships we don't ask for patreons we don't ask for anything that like that but if you wanted to just send us a little note and say that our show makes you happy we'll, we'll take that we'll take yeah, that for sure payment enough absolutely anyway i don't know when we're recording again we'll figure it out but until then uh thanks so long so much for being here on the ride with us and thank you kathy and uh we'll see everybody on the next episode bye bye this has been wp motivate with kathy zant and michelle freshette to learn more or to sponsor us go to wpmotivate.com <laughs>